dear Ethan. Over the past 21 years, you've really changed a lot. Your life has been quite the adventure, and I can't wait to see where you go next. I remember when you were in elementary school, where all you cared about was getting another belt and recorder karate. Or middle school, when it was all about making the basketball team. In high school, you were focused on making sure you could go to a good college. And now, in college, you're realizing all that did not even matter. I can tell what drives you in life are your dreams. Your dream to own your own business. Your dream to direct your own movie. But nothing drives you more than your biggest dream. Your dream to make a lasting impact. The passion and vision that you have to achieve these dreams will lead you to do things that are way bigger than you are. I'm proud of you for that. I'm proud of the way that you've learned to steward the gifts that God has given you. From the small, dumb talents to the things that will allow you to make a difference. You've stewarded them all very well. I would have never guessed that two years ago, you'd be leaving the University of Alabama to pursue a life of ministry. That through a camera and a friend, you're now living the life that God has called you to. As time goes on, be careful to keep up with your routines and disciplines. Your morning time with coffee will always start your day, but don't forget about calling your friends. Your dedication to growth has brought you very far in life and will keep you going in the future. Although you've made it this far, make sure to never forget where you came from. Remember those times when you're not able to do things out of your own strength. Those were your best times. The times when you realized you could do nothing to earn where you've made it now. Always consider it a gift. If you could just start all over in this journey called life, there is one thing I would have to tell you. You have not been investing in the people that have been put around you. You need to be. They're special. Investing in them will always yield a greater return than working on your projects. Your task-oriented mindset has led you to miss out on some great memories with others. It's time you recognize that. You've had some really amazing people around you these past years, and you have to start investing in them. Your dad. He's the one that taught you all of your disciplines, and is the reason you're even able to come to college. Take more time to let him know that you love him and appreciate him. He needs it. Your mom. The amount that she has sacrificed for you is more than you'll ever be able to know. She loves you more than she loves herself. I hope you recognize that. Begin sacrificing more for her. Your brother. He's the kind of brother that people wish they had. The way he lives his life is constantly challenging others. Look to encourage him every time you can. You've missed some key moments. Your sister. She's the beautiful, loving sister that is always excited to see you. Next time you're with her, slow it down and figure out what is going on in her life. She would love to tell you. Your girlfriend. I can tell you had no clue the amount of life she would bring to you. She is so beautiful and so caring. She will always be worth missing your bedtime for. Start valuing her over the things you say you need to do. It's worth it. Your best friend. Without him, your life would not be near as adventurous as it is now. He's also the most loyal person on the planet. You need to be more loyal back to him. Take some time to thank him for everything he's done for you. You repay him with loyalty. These people are only a few of the people that have been investing into you. Learn to invest back in them. Without them, you would not be who you are today. And with them, you'll be able to achieve your wildest dreams. Promise me that in the future, you will take the time to invest back in them, because this is what truly matters. Love, Ethan.